Now it is exactly one month since the US started its bombing campaign on Islamic State in Syria and it's been quite a profitable operation for the arms industry of course. On the first day 47 Tomahawk missiles worth over 65 million dollars were dropped one month on and the jihadists are still in place but the war has produced new contracts for American weapons makers. Well here you can see four major defence contractors whose stock prices have reached record highs while their shares have risen dramatically over the last couple of months and the latest sorry and the threat posed by the Islamic State is prompting even more support for increased military spending. Max Abrahams is an expert on terrorism in, Northeast, in the Northeastern University in Boston and he believes Washington has created this threat in the th first place. In terms of the company's own interests, in terms of their profit, in terms of their revenue, surely war uh, facilitates that if you're a defense industry. Of course, the irony is that the United States and the larger coalition is using these weapons oftentimes against Islamic State, which has been armed uh, inadvertently uh, by the United States and by these Sunni coalition countries because we provided arms in the context of the Arab awakening to support the uprising against Assad and Islamic State ended up prying these weapons away from the so-called moderate Syrian rebels as well as by essentially scaring the Iraqi federal forces into submission and the U.S. of course had been arming to the teeth uh, the Iraqi government and so Islamic State is actually fighting using our own weapons against us.